Hello everyone. Hope you are doing well. So welcome to the eleventh lecture uh, in this uh, in the in this series in which we are learning the basic component of component of compose. So in this lecture we will make the view model of the sine screen and uh, use events in that. So what are the events and why we are, we need them need them? So you will find it at uh, during the lecture. So this is the uh, sign up screen uh, and uh, we have already created that uh, screen in our previous lecture. So you can go to start and curve from the video description below. So let's jump into the coding stuff. So here we have our sign up screen and, uh, and uh, here are the things like uh, the data which we have uh, shown to the user in this screen uh, is full name email address password confirm password and visibility option so let's uh, maintain that uh, data in uh, in this state so here i will create a new class in here sign up state and it would be a data class here we have the full name email full name email and uh, password confirm password let's copy this line by pressing ctrl d password confirm password and the next one is the password visibility option which will be a boolean type and by default visibility is off so it will be false so the next i will create the another file for view model extend it from the view model and here i will uh, maintain this uh, sign up state using notable state flow so first I will create a private data member and now I will create a public met data member to expose that uh, state uh, outside this class like in the UI screen okay and the next is present uh, that uh, state information into the ui so go to the sign up screen compose component and in the constructor here i will pass the view model and then I remove this variables from here and create a UI state variable by view model collect as state import the extension function for get value okay and the next is uh, present uh, that information like full name for that I will go to the full name text field actually UI state and to on value change update that value for that I will create view model update full name and create that method in the view model and update this uh, uh, underscore ui state uh, value so for
for that your state update it copy here creating the copy of the current state of the data so uh, this is it and uh, let's go move it to the end of the file and uh, also make methods uh, for the other uh, properties uh, too so here uh, for the email let's copy it email and password and next one is confirm password and the next one is visibility password visibility okay so all our methods have been uh, created so let's move forward and here email and update the email viewing model and uh, the next is the leading actually it's an email here is the password update the password and the trailing icon password visibility and invert it because whenever users are hitting on this icon trailing icon we are toggling that value and also reflect the icon change password visibility if it's true then we will show the simple visibility icon and otherwise we will show the icon with this uh, line on it uh, which uh, represent that the current password visibility is off and the next will be confirm password again the trailing icon and update this icon to reflect the change if you're strong then we will show the eye icon only otherwise we will show the eye with icon with a line on it and uh, the next is uh, okay it's the pass con confirm password you will see this is it so let's run the app go to this preview method and uh, run this screen preview only okay so let's check the name working test at gmail and uh, password abc123 password visibility is not working as expected so we need to update the visual transmi transformation of the text field
so here visual transformation if it's true then we want to show the text to the user for that visual transformation none and if it's false then else case we will show the password visual transformation okay and the same will be goes for the confirm password as well and let's run it again and see the password abc123 and turn on the password visibility so yeah it's working as uh, expected and the next is the the scrolling part so for that i will go to the top of the parent component and uh, apply this vertical scrolling and run it again okay so vertical uh, scroll is working as expected so the next and the last point which will be the whole uh, purpose of this lecture is the events part so 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 where and how we will use the events in here so the thing is uh, if you uh, if observe this uh, screen in here that we have different kind of events like full name update email update password up update password update confirm password and update password visibilities and uh, click on sign up button so these are all the events which will which are going from the ui to the view model so it is a better approach to uh, write a single methods which will receive all the events which are coming from the ui to the view model so for that i will create a another class uh, for for this these events so create a new class sign up event these are the events which are coming from the UI to the view model and make it a serial class. And the first event is, I will get a, this. first event is uh, the uh, update full name. So for that, I will create a data class in here. Update full name. extend it from the sign up event and the next event is uh, update email so let's copy this line and update email and the next one is update password update confirm password and update password visibility so update password confirm password and password visibility and it would be boolean for in case of password visibility and uh, now i will come to the sign up view model and create a method which we will call from the ui on event sign up event and when now click here alt enter and add remaining branches so all the possible events are uh, showing up here so let's sort them like uh, first will be full name email password confirm password and password visibility and call the relevant methods against that event so update full name we want to update the full name of the uh, uh, data in the view model so update full name event dot value and uh, this value contains uh, 
the value which will be coming from the UI This name is not collect so let's rename it confirm password event dot value so we will call the, this uh, method from the UI and uh, uh, this uh, method will receive the event and uh, against any respective event we will call the respective method so for uh, so so only this method will be visible to the UI so there is uh, no point to make this method public so let's make them private okay and uh, the next is call this uh, on event method in the UI so sign up skin compose component and here first call this on the update full name just like that and uh, actually here will be update email and here will be update full name Next is update password. Update password visibility. I will copy this line from here. visibility and okay and uh, next is update confirm password and update password visibility in here okay so this is it so actually remove this line so this is it we are calling this on event uh, from throughout our ui and passing the events and uh, against any event the respective method will be called so this is a better approach to uh, manage the events which are coming from the ui for the view model so let's uh, run it again and see the effect here so let's test it again that if that everything is working working as expected
so everything is working as uh, uh, expected so this is how we can uh, manage the ui events uh, for the uh, view model so i hope this video will be helpful for you so this is it for today's video see you next time bye